Hi, welcome to this lecture video. In this lecture, we'll be talking about how we can plot rainfall data. And first, let's get started and import the country's boundary. Usually, I um, import country's boundary using EE uh, feature um, collection and uh, provide a FT means feature a fusion table. And uh, I'll provide the fusion table ID uh, and um, subset it uh, by countries. Um, so I'll define countries equal to Ethiopia. So in this case, I'll use Ethiopia as my study area. I mean, you can change it if you want to for a different country. Uh, so that's how you um, would subset uh, countries boundary or just um, feature collection. Okay. And then the second thing is import the rainfall data. In this case, I'm using the image collection chirps data. So this is the image collection ID. I'll provide that and do a little bit of um, uh, filtering. But first, let's select um, the precipitation parameter. So select precipitation, because this image collection has various products. Um, in it. So I'll specifically uh, identify or select precipitation. All right. And then the next step is um, filter date. So filter date function will um, uh, let us do um, filter by some time period, right? In this case, I'll filter it uh, from 2015 to 2017. Um, so and then last thing is filter bound. So filter bound will uh, provide you data only for this study region, right? So now we have imported our image collection. And um, the next step is to uh, create a point. Uh, we're going to do a plot. So if you want to do a plot for the entire country, it will be um, a lot of, you know, CPU. So just let's do, let's create a simple point and just uh, um, summarize the data this time series over this point, um, uh, over this um, point. Okay, so let's run that. So I created a point, I technically e geometry point will let you create a point by providing a lot long information, right? And then just map that map a layer, and then provide this point and just uh, name it a point so that I see, I see it here, right? So let's run this first. So what we did is we uh, imported country's boundary. We imported uh, an image collection uh, and the precipitation data uh, for our study region, and then filtered it by date. We also created a point uh, so that we'll do the plotting um, based on this, uh, you know, point. So we, you know, this is the point data that we have um, created. Okay. So the next thing is create the actual plot, right? So display the rainfall time series. So by printing UI chart image series, this will you know let us do the you know the charting, the plotting. So what it does is, so it will 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 just give it the image uh, the image collection that we have selected here, rainfall here, and also the polygon or the feature that we want to summarize this um, image collection, right? And then the spatial resolution, um, and then run that. This should give us some time series plot on the console. All right, excellent. So now what we are seeing is the mean, um, the mean rainfall for um, this entire period from 2015 to 2017, as you can see here. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, a typical, you know, time series. So this is a three year, um, you know, data, uh, rainfall data, as you can see here, it just picks some part of the year and then it goes down and then other year, you know, peak. So every year you can see, you know, some peak, uh, but also even though there's some variation, um, you know, this, this is just a, a default, you know, raw graph, um, so the next graph would be to plot seasonality, right? So, I mean, you can see seasonality, obviously, here, just some part of the year, it just peaks rainfall and heavy rain, and then goes down. And then here is another year, 2016, it just goes. So, but we cannot specifically identify, like, the, you know, the months, it's not clear. You know, the seasonality is just not clear enough here in this graph. So the next chart would do the seasonality, right? 
Um, so by plotting it was day of year. So chart two is I'll just you know name it chart two and then UI chart image. That's you know how you can plot image. And then instead of you know a default here, just day of year D O Y series will provide me that seasonality plot, right? And I'll pro provide this rainfall image collection here, which I already defined here, and. Um, and then just the point again, this point that I'm summarizing, you know, the rainfall data, right? Um, and, um, and just run. So this is our second seasonality, um, you know, plot. It's just running here. It's generating charts. So I have to wait a little bit since it, it, it's a uh, uh, series of data. Um, so. Oh, I have to print it here. So because we have not printed it here, it's not giving me the second chart. So once I created the chart, I have to print it to look at it here, right? So that's that's the reason we're not getting the second graph. All right. Okay, excellent. So this is our seasonality plot. Like so over the over the three years. Um, 2015, 2016, and 2017, it kind of summarizes it and just puts it like in a single graph, all right? So day of year, so from day one to 365 of, you know, days of the year, right? And then you can see clearly the seasonality, like you can, you can have, you know, the days of the year where this peak is, right? Um, and the days of the year that this is just, you know, stagnant. So you can see the peak right here. So over the three year period, this was like the, the peak season for that rainfall. So, I mean, plotting this single seasonality deal of your plot is really good. If you want to understand the seasonal pattern um, of rainfall or any climate you know, variable. And the third one is if you are interested to understand interannual variation, this plot doesn't tell us which year we have some peak or just lower peak, you know, lower um, rainfall. So we might need sometimes to plot the, the different years, um, the seasonality over the different years. So that's the third chart, right? So here what I'm doing is um, I am plotting day of year, but then by year. So it's a day of year, but it will be split by each year. So I'll have, um, you know, graphs split by by year, day of year, but by year. So I can s clearly see which years, you know, have some peak and it's pretty good for, you know, interpretation. All right, excellent. So this is a day of year by year. So now I have three years. The blue is 2015, red is 2016 and um, yellow orange um sorry orange is uh 2017 right so now i can clearly see you know which year had uh, a lower for example 2015 you know the, if you see the blue here had lower you know peak during the the beginning of the rainy season right and then you can see some outlier you know peak 2017 here um so it's pretty good like you can you can I mean depending on the purpose that you you want this plot you may do a single you know day of year or you may do it like day of year plot by um, you know year uh, depending on what kind of result or analysis that you're interested these are pretty you know cool graphs that you can extract or just you know understand information about uh, the dynamics of rainfall or any other climate variable uh, that you want to study, all right?